Hi everyone, uh, it's now day 40 I believe. Um, I did try and make a video yesterday but my camera died, um, the battery went dead sort of, I don't know, two minutes into the video so I just kind of thought, well, give up. I'll try again tomorrow and here we are. Um, so, how have things been going? It's been quite a while since my last video, probably about a week or so. Um, and some things have changed. Uh, I don't know if um, the swelling's gone down or I've got my hair tied back today, so hopefully you'll be able to see a bit more. Um, I don't really know, you know, I still have quite a fat chin. That probably will never ever change. <laughs> um, but, you know, the swelling, there is obviously still quite a lot of swelling. Um, my teeth feel numb at the top, um, which is terrific for eating ice cream, and normal down the bottom really, um, yeah, not really much going on there. Um, my gums, again, numb at the top, normal down the bottom. The roof of my mouth, um, where it was painful on the right hand side, I had a little patch um, on the palate. Um, that seems to be settling down now. I used to be really like sensitive and sore when I ate ice cream or hot food, hot drinks, cold drinks, particularly with cold stuff. But that seems to be sorting itself out now, so I'm chuffed about that. Um, so what else? I can whistle inwards now. Um, so <laughs> yeah, that was working a lot better the other day. Um, I can't whistle outwards. Nothing. Um, I'll keep practicing. <laughs> My uh, speech tends to improve. It's a, I take that day to day because the other day it was fantastic and I could say pretty much anything. Today it feels swollen and I'm kind of chewing on my cheeks a little bit and certain things aren't coming out quite right. Um, I have bitten myself so many times the last few days. I don't know if it's because I'm getting faster at talking and faster at eating. Certainly eating is becoming easier because I can open up my mouth a little bit wider now. Um, so, which is just over a finger's width now, which is nice. <laughs> I can put things in my mouth, yay! <laughs> Um, I still can't chew anything, um, like, solid. I, I still have soup with bread mushed into it, although I am eating a bit more, like, stuff like pasta. I say a bit more, really, I'm eating the same amount that I was because I was eating a bit of pasta before and I'm still eating a bit of pasta now and again. I had lasagna last night and I'll have it again tomorrow. Um, tonight I had soup. I, I tend to, if I'm going to have something like pasta, I will alternate it with soup. So I have soup one night, pasta the next night, and soup again the next night because then it gives it a little bit of a break, lets it heal up. I don't feel too bad because I've only been eating soup, you know, <laughs> it just helps with everything. Um, and yeah, I have been pretty much on soups, lunch and dinners. And I've been eating crumpets for breakfast the last couple of days, which I really enjoyed. Um, crumpets absolutely smothered in butter. Uh, you can't really go wrong with that, <laughs> no matter what your problem. Um, I just kind of tear it up into little pieces and shove it all in. Yeah, it works. Um, <laughs> So yeah, I'm going back to work next week. Um, I have a, an appointment with my orthodontist on Tuesday and then I'm going back to work on the Wednesday and I don't really know how I feel about that yet. It's going to be really, really scary. Um, I'm looking forward to it, don't get me wrong. I am looking forward to it, but it's going to be a bit of a shock to the system maybe. Because I'm just not used to it now, and you know, well, who knows? I hope this camera's focused okay. I kind of moved a bit. Um, anyway, so I have, yeah, I have that to look forward to, and I think I'm going to be coming home at lunch times. I, I only work around the corner, so it takes me about five to ten minutes to drive from my house to work. 
So I'll come home at lunchtime, have my lunch in the privacy of my walls, clean up everything afterwards, and um, and then go back. So I won't be taking anything into work with me. Um, partially because people are going to see me eat, and partially because um, the aftermath of me eating is just not pretty at the moment. Plus I have to do all the elastics and everything still. Yes, I am still wearing elastics. Oh joy, but actually I kind of like having them on now. Um, I've had them on for such a long time, or it seems like I have, what, five weeks? Yeah, this is week five. Um, that it kind of feels like it secures the jaw a little bit more. See, that didn't come out like, secures the jaw. <laughs> I have to put a funny face when I say it. Um, yeah, where was I? Elastic. So I'm still doing the diagonal one to pull my teeth round to the right at the top. Um, and I'm only doing that one at night. And during the day, I'm just doing straight rectangle elastics to hold it all in place. I haven't got them on now because I've just had my dinner. Soup, yay. Um, trying to think. So, I, I have actually been thinking of um, things that I want to eat again. So hard not to do. <laughs> um, which is fine. I've been losing a little bit of weight, so that's alright. Um, but I was thinking of making some Japanese bento boxes. Um, I've always loved Japanese stuff and I think, I don't know, I'd love to try it. So I think I'm going to make some really cool little lunch boxes um, with loads of different stuff in for when I am able to eat properly again. Um, yeah, it'd be nice to have something that's not soup. Let's put it that way. Although I might still have soup as well, you know, I do like soup. <laughs> Just not every day for lunch and dinner. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, okay, pain. I haven't spoken about pain yet. So, um, this side here, my left side, never really caused me much problem. Um, much problem? Many problems, you know what I mean. Um, it, it, yeah, it never caused me that much pain. Um, if you look on my x-ray on my blog, um, I think it's in day four, maybe? I don't know, I can't remember. Anyway, it's on the blog somewhere. Um, you'll see a link on the description, hopefully, if I remember to put it there. Um, basically, this side, the, um, the bit where they've kind of removed well, not removed bone, well, yeah, removed bone <laughs> from my jaw. Sounds so weird. And they fixed it back together with the titanium um, clip, which isn't really a clip, it's just a plate thing that they screwed the two bits of bone either side together. Um, anyway, I've really not explained that well, but look at the x ray, it will tell you everything. Um, <laughs> basically, the gap on this side where the clip is holding it together. And it's actually a smaller clip on this side as well, um, for a smaller gap. I think it's healing up nicely. From what I can feel myself, I think it's healing up. This side has caused me problems from the start. Um, I get the clicking in my joint, and just here in between my two very back molars, um, this is all bottom jaw I'm talking about right now. Um, so I have a bigger clip here. Um, just underneath my two molars, probably that is a bit extensive and exaggerated. It's probably from about there to there or something. But um, I can feel where it is anyway. I can't actually feel the clip itself, but it feels very tender and I can feel the gap that it's covering. Um, <laughs> which is kind of scary, it's just there. Um, you can't see it, obviously, because of my pud. But yeah, there is a gap there and I can feel it. And when I bite down, it or make any kind of movement, like if I yawn, or if I try and stretch my jaw in any way, um, I can feel that bit there, kind of, it doesn't feel nice, it feels like two bits of bone with a clip going in the middle, moving. Um, I could be imagining it, I don't think I am. Um, it feels like it's not quite right. <laughs> but if you look at my x-ray you can see why it's like five times bigger a gap 
than it is on the other side so I guess that's why it's causing me so many problems um, yay I intend to ask about that next time I go because I've forgotten to ask about it the past um, three visits that, or two visits that I've had however many visits and luckily I haven't got to see my orthodontist as much as I would have done because you know holidays and sick not me, the orthodontist and the uh, surgeon so I haven't had the opportunity to really, well I have had the opportunity to ask but last time I blimmin well forgot do not forget, write down your questions. If you have this done, for God's sake, write down your questions. It will help. Um, so yeah, anyway, where was I? God, this is turning out to be a lengthy video. I will let you go in a minute. Um, I'm not overly happy, so I'm going to talk about results now. Um, sorry, top jaw, not a problem. I get a little bit of sensitivity up here where the break is every now and again. But apart from that, it's fine. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'll move on to the aesthetics, uh, what I think about how it looks at the moment. Um, am I happy with the result? Whew. I was hoping that I'd have a more definitive answer at this point, but no, I have to think it's still only been about five weeks and therefore it is still early days and I can't say whether or not I'm happy with the results because there's still a lot of swelling. Honestly, as it is at the moment, if it was going to stay like this, I would have been happier. This is really hard to say if I hadn't have done anything at all. Um, so that's not leaving it where it was prior to surgery, but prior to braces. Um, because having the braces on for four years made my teeth a lot worse or made my underbite a lot worse than it was um, because it straightened out my teeth so my teeth were like at that kind of angle before and when it straightened it put them like that which made my bottom jaw look like it was sticking out even more than it was before um, so yeah at the moment I'm not overly chuffed with my results but um, I think that's um, partially because of the frustration with talking it sounds like there's a lot of shh when I'm talking, at least it does to me. Um, I don't know if that's something that's just inside of my head or if it's something that other people can actually hear. Um, I certainly notice that I'm struggling to pronounce a lot of different letters and words. And I, I actually don't spend a lot of uh, any time really talking to other people. Um, because I'm at home all the time and although I, do, I see people occasionally, for long lengths of time I don't talk to anybody um, and I don't know if I talked more, maybe I should make more videos or something or I should just talk to myself in the mirror and practice more, maybe that would get better, I'm sure it would but hey I'm going back to work next week anyway, I'll have to talk a lot I might hide under my desk or something <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it for the update, I think. I'm still having a little bit of trouble sleeping. The discomfort is still there. I can't really lie on this side. And I can't really lie on this side either because of this side. Because if I lie on this side, it pushes everything that way. And that makes that hurt. And if I lie on this side, that hurts. <laughs> so what can I do? I don't know. Um, yeah. But it's uncomfortable lying on my back, so I think I just lie on my side anyway, whatever. Um, yeah, so back to work in a week. That is my sick period over officially. We'll see how I get on. Wish me luck, I'll have another update for you probably about then. Thanks for watching, bye.